Heather Sanderson, Reversing Alzheimer's, the new toolkit to improve cognition and protect brain health. Today, an Alzheimer's diagnosis is still seen as an inevitable fate. But this blink offers fresh hope for those affected, presenting groundbreaking evidence that cognitive decline can be not only prevented, but reversed. Based on clinical examples and cutting-edge research, this thoughtful guide provides a comprehensive toolkit for brain health that goes beyond traditional pharmaceutical approaches. From diet and exercise to environmental factors and stress reduction, it offers practical, actionable steps for those concerned about cognitive decline, caregivers, and healthcare providers alike. So whether you're affected by Alzheimer's yourself, caring for someone who is, or simply interested in preserving your brain health, this blink will teach you how to promote cognitive vitality well into old age. What exactly is Alzheimer's? Have you ever wondered why, despite decades of research and billions of dollars spent, we still don't have an effective treatment for Alzheimer's disease? The answer might surprise you. Our understanding of this devastating condition has been fundamentally flawed from the start. For years, the medical community has been laser-focused on reducing so-called beta amyloid plaques and tau protein tangles in the brain, believing them to be the root cause of Alzheimer's. But here's the kicker. Nearly everyone, including healthy individuals, has these plaques and tangles to some degree. In fact, only 2% of people don't have any at all. So what's really going on with Alzheimer's? The bad news is that Alzheimer's is a really complex disease influenced by multiple factors, including toxins in our environment, poor nutrition, chronic stress, structural issues like sleep apnea, infections, and hormonal imbalances. The good news is that many of these factors are within our control. Research has identified 12 modifiable risk factors that account for about 40% of worldwide dementia cases. These include things like hearing loss, hypertension, smoking, and social isolation. By addressing these factors, we can potentially prevent or delay the onset of Alzheimer's. To put it in positive terms, a good diet, regular exercise, social connection, and general self-care can all have amazing effects on our brain health. A new effective approach to treating Alzheimer's must reflect the complexity of the disease and address all of these areas. Instead of relying on a single drug, we should adopt a multifaceted protocol that addresses all aspects of brain health. This includes dietary changes, stress reduction, and optimizing sleep, all of which we'll get into later. But why hasn't this approach been more widely adopted? Unfortunately, the research world has been slow to catch up. Until recently, studies that evaluated multiple interventions at once were rarely approved. This means that most Alzheimer's research has focused on testing single drugs rather than comprehensive lifestyle changes. The takeaway is clear. Don't wait for a miracle drug to protect your brain health. We have more control over our cognitive destiny than we might have thought, and a multifaceted approach offers real hope for preventing and treating this challenging disease. So start taking action now. Remember, it's never too early, or too late, to start caring for your brain. Building a brain-boosting routine The key to making time for brain health lies in something you already do every day your small daily routines. The power of routine in protecting your brain cannot be overstated. By creating consistent rhythms for brain-boosting activities, you can make them automatic and effortless. This is especially crucial for caregivers and those already experiencing cognitive decline. The best place to start is with your evening and morning routines. These bookends of your day provide a supportive structure that can set you up for success. But what kind of things might you include in your routine to promote brain health? The new Alzheimer's Toolkit centers on eight key tools. A nutrient-dense, high-fat, low-carb diet, regular exercise, brain-stimulating activities, a supportive daily routine, a serene, non-toxic environment, restorative sleep, social connections, and self-care. Some of this we'll discuss in more detail soon. 
And while it may seem overwhelming to implement all these tools at once, any step taken toward better brain health is beneficial. The more tools you can incorporate, the greater the potential benefit due to their synergistic effects. To get started on this journey, there are several practical steps you can take. Begin by keeping a journal dedicated to your brain health journey and set clear intentions for what you want to achieve in the next six months. Once you've done this, analyze your current schedule and look for opportunities to free up time for new brain healthy habits. For example, your evening routine might include engaging in relaxing activities after dinner, like playing games or listening to music. This can be followed by a pre-bedtime ritual, such as taking a warm bath or reading. Good sleep hygiene practices, like dimming lights and setting a consistent bedtime, are also crucial. On the flip side, your morning routine could involve upgrading your morning beverage, adding healthy fats to your coffee, for example. It might also include meditating or spending time in nature and practicing oil pulling for better oral health, which is linked to brain health. Beyond your morning and evening routines, it's important to organise your days and weeks to include activities like cognitive engagement, creativity, physical activity and connection with others. The beauty of this approach is that one activity can often tick multiple boxes. A nature walk with a friend, for instance, provides both exercise and social connection. Try creating an ideal week schedule that incorporates these activities. A compassionate approach both towards yourself and your care partner if you're a caregiver, is essential. After all, you're both doing your best. Remember that you're never on your own. Seeking support is crucial, as caregiving to yourself or others is not a one-person job. Look to family, friends or professionals for assistance. By gradually incorporating brain-healthy activities into your daily routines, you can make significant strides in preventing or reversing cognitive decline without feeling like you're constantly chasing time. It's not about adding more to your plate, but rather restructuring what's already there to better serve your brain health. It's important to acknowledge that implementing these changes requires time, effort, and sometimes financial investment. Focus on what you can do rather than getting overwhelmed by what you can't. Remember, this is a journey, and progress, not perfection, is the goal. Moving your body Now that you have an overview of all the little strings you can pull to boost your brain health, let's look at some of those factors in more detail. Have you ever considered that exercise could be the key to boosting your brain power? While many of us think of physical activity primarily as a way to stay fit or lose weight, it turns out that moving your body is one of the most powerful tools we have for maintaining and even improving cognitive function. Exercise does far more than just burn calories. It increases blood flow to the brain, delivering vital oxygen and nutrients while flushing away waste products. Regular physical activity has been shown to increase the volume of the hippocampus, a key brain region for learning and memory. Perhaps most excitingly, Exercise triggers the release of special molecules that act as fertilizer for your brain, promoting the growth of new neurons and connections. The benefits extend beyond the brain too. Exercise creates a positive hormonal feedback loop, helping you build and maintain muscle mass as you age. It strengthens bones, reducing the risk of debilitating fractures. It can also improve mood, decrease pain, boost energy, and even positively influence which of your genes are expressed. When it comes to exercise types, a well-rounded approach is best. Aerobic exercise, like brisk walking or jogging, should form the foundation, aiming for 150 to 200 minutes per week. Strength training is crucial too, with at least two sessions per week to build muscle and bone density. In addition to this, so-called dual-task training which combines physical movement with a cognitive challenge, offers unique benefits for brain health. A dual task exercise could be as simple as briskly walking while counting backward from a hundred. If you're just starting out, begin with daily walks and gradually increase intensity and duration. As you build fitness, incorporate strength training and dual task exercises. The key is to continually challenge yourself in new ways, 
keeping both your body and brain on their toes. For those caring for someone with cognitive decline, making exercise fun and appealing to the person's interests is crucial. A nature walk to visit a favourite tree or statue, balloon volleyball for those with limited mobility, or dance classes for the socially inclined can all be great options. The goal is to find ways to incorporate movement that feels enjoyable and purposeful, rather than like a chore. Research has shown time and again that it's never too late to start reaping the brain-boosting benefits of exercise. By incorporating regular physical activity into your routine, you're not just taking care of your body. You're giving your brain the stimulation and support it needs to thrive. So lace up those sneakers and get moving. Your future self will thank you. Finding the right diet. Apart from exercise, another key to protecting your brain health might be hidden in your kitchen. What you eat can have a profound impact on your cognitive function, potentially even reversing signs of cognitive decline. The ketogenic diet, a high-fat, low-carb eating plan, has emerged as a powerful tool for brain health. By switching your body's primary fuel source from glucose to ketones, you can provide your brain with its preferred energy source. This shift can lead to remarkable improvements in cognitive function, as demonstrated by patients like Dean, who regained the ability to remember his grandchildren's names after just six weeks on the diet. The benefits of the ketogenic diet extend beyond memory improvement. It can help stabilise mood, increase energy levels, reduce inflammation, and even contribute to better heart health. The diet works by drastically reducing carbohydrate intake and replacing those calories with healthy fats from sources like avocados, olive oil and nuts. While the transition to a ketogenic diet can be challenging, with some people experiencing temporary side effects like fatigue or cravings, these usually subside within a few days. The key is to stay hydrated, ensure adequate mineral intake and be patient as your body adapts to its new fuel source. It's important to note that the ketogenic diet isn't meant to be a permanent lifestyle change. The goal is to achieve metabolic flexibility, where your body can easily switch between burning glucose and ketones. For those seeking to reverse cognitive decline, a three to six month period of strict adherence is recommended, followed by cycling in and out of ketosis. Implementing the diet requires some planning and adjustment. You'll need to familiarise yourself with keto-friendly foods, learn to read nutrition labels carefully, and possibly invest in tools like ketone testing strips. However, many find that the potential cognitive benefits far outweigh these initial challenges. For caregivers introducing the diet to a loved one with cognitive impairment, emphasising the delicious foods that can be enjoyed rather than focusing on restrictions can help ease the transition. Cooking together and finding creative ways to celebrate special occasions without traditional carb-heavy foods can also make the process more enjoyable. While other brain-healthy diets like the MIND diet exist, the ketogenic diet stands out for its ability to not just reduce risk, but potentially reverse cognitive decline by providing the brain with its optimal fuel source. As with any significant dietary change, it's important to consult with a healthcare provider, especially if you have pre-existing health conditions. But for many, the ketogenic diet represents a powerful, food-based approach to protecting and enhancing brain health. Upgrading your environment Last but not least, the space we live in plays a crucial role in our overall well-being, particularly for those dealing with or trying to prevent cognitive decline. Creating a brain-nourishing environment involves two main priorities, reducing toxic exposure and promoting relaxation and renewal. This approach can be applied throughout your home, from the bedroom to the kitchen, and even extends to outdoor spaces. In the bedroom, focus on creating a sleep sanctuary. Opt for organic bedding to reduce chemical exposure. Maintain a cool temperature between 65 to 69 degrees Fahrenheit. In addition, Minimise light pollution and consider using white noise to mask disruptive sounds. These changes can significantly improve your sleep quality, which is essential for brain health. The kitchen is where we nourish our bodies, so it's crucial to minimise toxic exposure here. Replace plastic containers with glass or stainless steel, 
swap out non-stick cookware for safer alternatives like cast iron or ceramic, and organise your fridge and pantry to make healthy eating easier. Consider hiding knobs on the stove and sharp knives if safety is a concern for those with cognitive decline. Water quality is another vital aspect of a healthy environment. Consider investing in a high-quality water filter or sourcing spring water to reduce exposure to contaminants that can negatively impact brain health. In the living room, rethink the prominence of the TV, make it less accessible, and instead create spaces that encourage brain-enriching activities like puzzles, reading, or art projects. This subtle change can lead to more engaging and cognitively stimulating leisure time. Don't overlook the importance of outdoor spaces. Nature has a powerful effect on our nervous system and can provide a much-needed reset. Ensure outdoor areas are safe, comfortable and engaging, with features like bird feeders or gardening spaces. Throughout your home, prioritise decluttering, as a tidy space can significantly reduce stress and overstimulation. Also, be mindful of potential mould issues, as mycotoxins from mould can be particularly harmful to brain health. Remember, creating a brain-nourishing environment doesn't have to happen overnight. Start with small changes in the areas where you spend the most time and gradually work your way through your home. By making these thoughtful adjustments, you're not just improving your living space. You're creating an environment that actively supports and enhances your cognitive health. The main takeaway of this Blink to Reversing Alzheimer's by Heather Sanderson is that Alzheimer's disease is influenced by multiple factors, including environmental toxins, poor nutrition, chronic stress, and hormonal imbalances. Instead of relying on a single drug, a multifaceted approach that includes dietary changes, regular exercise, stress reduction, and optimizing sleep is recommended. Addressing modifiable risk factors can significantly reduce the chances of developing Alzheimer's. Establishing consistent routines and creating a brain-healthy environment are also crucial. Embracing these comprehensive strategies can potentially prevent or reverse cognitive decline, emphasising the importance of taking proactive steps for better brain health. OK, that's it for this Blink. We hope you enjoyed it. If you can, please take the time to leave us a rating. We always appreciate your feedback. See you in the next Blink.